All right, so what we're going to do is add coordinate data to a shapefile. So if we have data in a spreadsheet or in a table, in this case it's a spreadsheet with um, kind of lat long for monitoring points. One thing I did before I um, did anything else, I guess, in ArcMap was I added a point ID field, and I also renamed the file, just got rid of all the spaces. Not sure if that's a big deal or not, but ArcView sometimes bombs out when you have um, Excel files that have spaces in it, or if the, the tabs in those files have spaces, um, or if they stumber. There's a few different things that ArcView just struggles with. So we just go to Add Data, and we can add that right to our project. And then uh, yeah, it'll see, it basically looks like a normal attribute table. So what we're going to do is right-click, display XY data. The X field is the horizontal field. The Y field is the latitude, uh, the vertical field. Since XY or uh, lat long is technically not a projected coordinate system, it's just a geographic system. We're going to use kind of the inherent kind of GPS coordinate system, WGS 1984, um, which is under the project our geographic world systems so that's what it's set for hit OK it does an object ID so that's basically all it's saying is it's going to add kind of a temporary file uh, it aired out so I kind of have the, the file from last year on as a, as a background as well so if we zoom to it So they're there, so I'm not sure what the air was about. These are in a different county, but it looks like they are showing up. So what we'll do now is we'll export the data. It's just like a temporary file. So we're going to export into, um, we'll use, should be the same um, cordon system whether we pick the data frame or whether we pick what it's in now, but WGS1984. Right click, data export. Um, and then yeah, this is just gonna be a shape file wherever you wanna put it. Change it to shape file. And we'll call this swag2019. Add it to the map. And we'll just make these a little bit brighter so we can see them, make sure they showed up. You can check the source, make sure the coordinate system is in WGS 1984. Turn on the lakes as background. Just kind of as a double check. Looks like we have points over top of the lakes, which is good. We have Pine Lake, Kadat Lake, Loon Lake, and so yeah, looks like those match our lake table. So yeah, we should be good to go. We can uh, use this now as a shape file and upload it into a GPS.